Hey folks, this is Vent with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Shock Rods. It's important to stress that what you're looking at here is a beta, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. Based on my off-camera play experience so far, this is a much faster-paced Twisted Metal kind of game. For those of you that don't know what Twisted Metal is, you pick one of the pre-made cars, you go out, and you shoot other cars, and you're trying to be the last one standing. Well, very similar here, except you can... Sort of customize your own vehicle, which is kind of nice. Uh, for example, if you go to the garage, you can choose between three different bodies. Right now, there's Mule, Dreadnought, and Shark. You can choose your wheel type. There's a dress-up option, which is grayed out for me right now. You can change your paint colors. You can change the effects of your thrusters. Really cool. Taunts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry. That, that, oh, that got me. All right. Anyway, so there's challenges, different things to shoot for. Again, this is just a beta, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. So let's just show you what the game plays like. You can play against bots or players. I'm going to go ahead and play against the AI. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe put this to eight. There's no difficulty slide or anything like that, and I find this to be rather challenging. I still got first place in my first match, but it was really tough. Very fast-paced, lots of stuff going on. So, yeah, let's just... Eight, eight bots. Uh, there's deathmatch. There's capture the flag and ball game. We'll just do deathmatch. And I think we are ready to go. So, WASD... Oh, hold on. Spacebar jumps, WASD, A and D strafes instead of turns, mouse to look around. Right mouse button zooms, spacebar jumps, shift does a boost. Yeah, this is just the warm-up, so nothing bad's gonna happen. So you pick stuff up, you've got your weapons on the right-hand side there. Mouse wheel switches between them. Okay, here we go. This is nuts. It really is. Now, some of these weapons are pretty bad. Others are pretty are pretty good. You can double jump, which is nice. I think I got one. I think the rocket launcher is by far my favorite. sure where that came from, but okay. Oh. 
like I said, extremely chaotic. Oh, oh. Got myself. Saw that coming. My own grenade got me. I think this is like a landmine of some sort. I don't know what all the weapons do yet. I got two of them, I think. Oh, 
That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Oh. Saw that coming. I wonder what that thing does. Double damage. Oh, nice. I don't think I can hit anyone with it. There we go. Not too bad. Twenty five points. All right, and there you have it. Like I said, it's a very, very crazy, chaotic game, but I'm actually quite enjoying it. I'm a big fan of Twisted Metal, at least when I was able to play it back on the PlayStation 2, which I no longer own. Um, I also had, I think, Twisted Metal Black at one point, too. But anyway, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what the final product will look like. Hopefully there's more customization options, more ways to maybe tone down the AI difficulty. I guess you could turn down the number of AI bots if you want an easier experience, but still a way to make them less aggressive just for the new player. That would be kind of nice. There's also this capture the flag mode and ball game mode that I haven't tried yet. There's also some sort of currency in the upper right hand corner. I don't know if that's premium currency or in game currency. There's also a level system in the upper left hand corner. I don't know if that's restricted to uh, online play only. Notice that my level did not go up after winning that match. So either it's just disabled right now, or I can only earn levels by playing online with other people. I, I don't know, you know, the whole thing or the whole story yet, but should be a fairly interesting game to look at once it releases. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I'm going to publish. This is Vince. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.